Hello everyone. So in this video, we will discuss about anther culture and pollen or microspore culture. So without any delay, let's start the video. So first of all, what is anther culture? So as you know, anther culture is simply a technique in which we culture the anthers, the anthers which contain the pollen grains or microspores. So these anthers are cultured on a neutral strength medium for generating a complete haploid plant. So anther culture is a technique of culturing anther for the development of haploid plants. Now what is the procedure of this anther culture or how you can perform the anther culture? So for this, first of all, you will select a flowering plant because anther are present in, in the flowers. So you will choose flowering plant and in the next step, the flowers of that flowering plant they are just taken out now these flower birds these are first they are sterile because they are on the they were on the plant so they are contaminated so they are first sterilized by 70 percent ethanol and sodium hypochloride so this procedure is known as surface sterilization after sterilization then these are washed because just to remove the residual these surface sterilizants like sodium hypochlorite so just to uh, wash out these remaining agents we just wash these flower buds with sterile water then after that these buds these flower buds these are cut with knife so they are just cut with knife to split down into or you can say just to open the flower buds so as the flower buds they are open now we can easily remove the anther from these flower buds so for removing anther we just cut out the you can say we just take the complete stamen and from that stamen now in order to get the anther we just remove the filament here the green lines they represent the filament so we just remove the filament and discard them and just take the anthers only now we incubate these anthers in the nutrient medium at 24 to 26 degrees centigrade for 3 to 4 weeks. Now, we can perform the, you can say, culturing of that anthers by two ways. First is direct ways in which the, you can say, organs are directly formed on these anthers without undergoing any uh, further stage or you can say without undergoing, undergoing the callous stage. Here, the roots and shoots, they are directly started from this anther. So, this is the direct method of organogenesis. So, here, the direct androgenesis will start and now, the you can say, the another method is via callus formation or indirect method. In this, these anthers are first converted into callus. Callus is a mass of unorganized and undifferentiated cells and how these anthers are converted into callus so by the incorporation of a strong hormone that is strong auxin generally 2 for d or 2 for 5 t so with the application of strong auxin these can anthers they are converted into callus now the organogenesis means the formation of new organs will start from this callus cells so, the two ways are just in front of you. The first direct way in which the organs they directly originate from anthers while in the second that is indirect or via callus formation. So, here first callus is formed and then the organs they developed from this callus. So, now as the organogenesis takes place and after that means by either of the pathway finally the complete plant will be formed so in order to form the complete plant so first of all we just you can say place that x plant into the shooting medium so shoot will be formed after that the media will be replaced with rooting medium in which the root will be formed and now the plantlets will uh, you can say the leaf will develop and this is known as the regenerated plantlet so this is the complete procedure of anther culture that how you take out the anther and how you form the complete plant from that anther. Now next is the pollen culture or microspore culture. So here 
pollen or microspore they are present inside the anther so in this technique we just take the anther and squeeze out or you can say just remove the pollen from the anther and just culture that isolated pollen or microspore into the nutrient medium and this pollen culture and microspore culture is also done for forming the haploid or you can say the male haploid plant here this is the procedure of pollen culture so it's similar to anther culture like first of all we will take the flowering plant because anthers are present in the flowers so now from the flowering plant the flower buds they will be taken out and now these flower buds they will be surface sterilized by 70 percent ethanol and sodium hypochlorite now these flower buds are washed with sterile water to remove any remaining these sterilizing agents now this flower buds they will be cut or you can just split down by knife and after splitting these flower buds here now we will remove the stamens which contain the anther stamen is consists of anther and filament here we just take anthers only and filaments they are discarded now the difference is here in the microspore culture or pollen culture is that in this case we just take out or squeeze out the pollen from the anther so for this we just you can say squeeze out with a kind of glass rod just to take out the pollen outside of anther so as you can see here now we have the extracted pollens so in the next step these pollen they will be cultured on the nutrient medium and after their culturing again the organogenesis will be takes place by either of two method like first is a direct method in which the direct organogenesis will be start and second one is the callus method in which first these pollen grains they will be converted into the callus and now the organogenesis or you can say the formation of new organ will start from this callus and now the complete plant will be regenerated as in the case of anther like first they will be placed in the shooting medium to form the shoot then in the rooting medium to form the root and after that finally the leaf will also be developed and now it will be called as regenerated plantlets and now these plantlets either formed by the anther culture or by the pollen culture they will be shifted to greenhouse for the acclimat acclimatization process so by this you can simply culture the pollen also now what are the different factors that affect the anther and pollen culture so different factor affect the anther culture the first of all is a xenotype of the donor plant so in order to perform the anther culture and the pollen culture the genotype of the donor plant will definitely you can say definitely uh, works because the success of culture is predominantly depend upon the genotype of the anther of donor plant second is physiological status of plant so the physiological status of plant when we take the anther it also influence the sporophytic efficiency of microspore so the donor plant it should taken care of you can say from the time of flowering the use of any kind of pesticide whether externally or internally should be avoided for 3 to 4 weeks before the sampling now the next factor affecting the stage of pollen so particular stage of anther at the time of culture is very important similarly the stage of pollen is also very important so usually the anther just before or immediately after the pollen mitosis are most suitable for the anther culture suitable stages for the anther culture they include the pre mitotic mitotic and post mitotic so pre mitotic stage so enter anther at this stage they have microspore which have just completed first meiotic division and the pollens are immature uninucleated and starch free so anthers of hordium vulgare and hyoscyamus at this stage are suitable for the culture the mitotic stage so in some plant the anther at the first pollen division are most suitable for the culture like for example in the case of nicotiana tobacum and datura inoxa post mitotic stage so early bicellular stage of pollen development is most suitable for culture in atropa belladonna and nicotina species the next factor affecting is the pre treatment of anther so why we pre treat anther because 
in order to perform the anther culture we just stop the development of pollen cell which generally will become a gamete so just we stop the development of pollen cell and directly force the development into complete plant so this abnormal pathway is only possible if we give certain pre treatment to the anthers and these include first cold treatment so in general the cold treatment between 3 degree to 6 degree centigrade for 3 to 15 days they give very good response the degree of cold that should be given is depend upon the species as a result of cold treatment weak or the non viable anthers and microspore they are killed and the materials get enriched with the vigorous anthers second treatment is hot treatment so flower buds or the entire plant in some species when subjected to 30 degree for 24 hours or 40 degree for 1 hour stimulate the embryogenesis like for example in case of brassica so the temperature shock appear to cause dissolution of microtubules and dislodging of spindle which cause abnormal division of microspore nucleus the next is chemical treatment we may use certain chemical for the pre treatment of anther like for example 2 chloroethyl phosphonic acid that is ethyl so it has a very pronounced effect in increasing the haploid production in various species next factor affecting the culture anther and pollen culture is culture media so culture media is also affect the culture like for example sucrose is very much essential for androgenesis that is formation of male haploid plants then chelating iron it also show a very important role in the differentiation of globular embryo into heart shape embryo and further into complete plant the presence of nitrate ammonium salt as well as amino acid they also play a very special role at the different stages of development process however the glutamine is probably beneficial for the most plant species as an aid to achieving achieve the in vitro differentiation of cell into complete plant activity charcoal in the nutrient medium it also enhance the percentage of anthers in some species presumably by removing inhibitors from the medium for androgenesis to be completed addition of certain growth regulators are required to promote the direct embryogenesis simple medium with low level of auxins they are usually advisable next factor that affect the anther or pollen culture is photo period and the light intensity so higher number of embryos they are formed when the anthers they are taken from the plant which are growing under short days and high light intensity next factor is flowering time so anthers taken from the flowers at the beginning of flowering period of the plant they are most suitable for the anther culture then age of plant usually the anther from the younger plants they are more suitable for the culture endogenous auxin so embryogenic pollen they are found near the tapetum within the anther and the tapetum may release some stunts which may initiate the embryogenic development in the pollen so the endogenous level it also affect the development of or you can say that also affect the culturing of anthers so this is all about the anther and pollen culture and the various factors affecting them so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much